Good day friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another Tinkercad tutorial. Friends, today we're going to upgrade our sweep and text, so let's get cracking. Friends, I'm going to start this project in the gallery. This link will be in the description, but I also want to show you this. If you hit search and type sweeping text, you will actually get to see a bunch of lessons. These are cool creations from my tutorial, and this is the tutorial. Now, friends, when you click here, you can get to the tutorial, all kinds of ways to reach me. And friends, don't forget, you can give a reaction if you think the project is pretty awesome. Today, I'm continuing on this tutorial. So if you haven't done that one, you need to. Since I've already started it, I can just click Tinker This. So once again, friends, if you haven't built this yet, I'll make sure that tutorial is also up in the cards so you can find it. What we used was duplicate and nudge. Now, what we're doing is we're answering a question today. Somebody said, hey, what if I want to print this and then also print a different color and push it in? And what I mentioned to the user is that it's going to be a pain in the butt because each one of these letters is separate. This chunk is connected but all these other ones is one piece at a time so it would be quite a bit of a hassle but let me see if i've got another way that makes it kind of slick before we get rolling i do want to have you turn on the grid just because that makes it easier as we're creating friends the trick we're going to use is the font to path now i will once again have this link in the description but this is an amazing site where you can type what you want your word to be so you can see I have just added HL Mod Tech. Then you can pick from all these amazing fonts. And what I've shown you before is I like to click one and then just use the arrow keys to move through them. And they will update as they make more and more epic designs. Now, this is going to create an SVG, which gives us some special skills that I'll show you in a minute. So I'm going down to find one that I think is pretty cool. I want a font that's wider because remember we're going to try and push these in. And you want something you can hold if you're going to do all these separate letters. So as we're working with these, notice you can fill and unfill. I'm going to leave mine filled. I can't see what Union does, but watch what Kerning does. See how it changes this gap so that it's nicer? So if I click that and then also I change this to 0.5. Now if we shut off the fill check out those thick bold lines that it's built with. I also know that in centimeters, I don't want this to be 100 centimeters. Since I'm just playing with something small, I like more like 70 centimeters. So I'm gonna get this built the way I want right from the beginning. All right, friends, so now here's the magic moment. We are gonna download this SVG so we can play with it. I'm gonna call it HL Mod Tech 3 because I've played with this on many different projects. And then we are gonna to return to Tinkercad. All right, friends, with that piece of text created, we need to import it. When you choose import, we're gonna pick the file. Remember, it was in the downloads. We always want art. Notice it says 451 millimeters. I'm gonna make that 70 because that's about as long as I want to print. After a moment, it will arrive. I'm gonna do shift nudge to pull it out. I'm going to change the height to 0.75 because that's what I like to use. These are adjustable. You'll see how they work in just a moment. Now, eventually, we're going to push these letters in. So I'm going to tell you to do Control-D. And let's do that Shift nudge to push this one out here and save it. Now, we're going to take this and we're going to make it the cool background. So the first thing I want you to do is switch to Outer Line. Now, initially, it shows up with size 5, which is huge. I want you to change that to something like two. You may like these sharp edges, but I'm going to switch it to round. These are all things that you can play with as you make yours. Now, we also want this to be filled in. Now, the coolest way to do this is to just do Control-D. And then on the second one, instead of outer line, have it be silhouette. After just a moment, boom, you have got the shapes filled in. Now you'll see here there is a tiny gap. I'm going to tell you, you don't really care. Just take those two and do control G or use group to group them. And you have got the smooth shape that is eventually going to have these letters pushed into them. So friends, it's back to the sweeping text technique. Make sure you set it to 0.25. I'm going to tell you to just click on this shape and do control D. Use your arrow key to move it back two clicks. One, two. Also use control up arrow to raise it up two clicks, just like that. Rotate it four degrees or so. You can experiment with those to find what you like. 
there's my four. Notice I'm not clicking anything else because that would cancel out the memorized steps. But now if you just do control D, you have got sweet sweeping text. Now remember the user wanted to push the letters in here with a different color. So we're gonna click somewhere else to cancel what we did. We're gonna do control D. So now we've got two of these here and we're gonna click on one of them and we're gonna ungroup it. Now this part's tricky. When you click on this, see how this one shows me it's the group? I got lucky and I'm gonna hide it. That allows me to click on the separate pieces and I wanna get rid of this outside one. I wanna take the inside one and I wanna make it a whole. Now when I do show all, you can see that they all show up. There's an extra one back here that I'm just gonna delete. All right, friends, so to cut it out, we just click, hold down shift, grab the other layer and hit group. Give it a moment or two and you will have the cutout area for your shape. Now notice this is a little bit funky. I'm gonna fix that by double clicking. I'm gonna click on the hole. I wanna hit the work plane so it's on that shape and I wanna change the thickness. So I'm gonna make this two so it's poked out and I'm gonna do control back to push it in one. I'm gonna click somewhere else to let it recut and that looks a lot more clean. So friends, what you would have to do is print both of these, preferably with the second one being a different color. And then when you're done printing, those letters should push exactly in the holes. Now, if you want to see proof that these fit, let me show you how. We're going to do Control D, Shift Nudge, so that we don't lose our one we need to print. We're going to grab all of these shapes. Notice there are 16 and the bottom one didn't rotate. So that's 15 rotations. Just dumb luck, but a fun number, because if we do the four degrees times 15, that's 60. Friends, are you ready for this? If I click here and type 60, boom, that is the exact number of degrees. I'm gonna prove it to you by putting the work plane in the hole. If I hit D to drop and use the arrow keys to slide it into position, let's orbit around and bam, you have got proof that our project fits just like this. If you decided that you wanted this to stick out further, don't forget you do need to switch to this one to get it so that it's a different height. So right now it's set for 0.75. If you make that 1.5, then they will stick in a little further and they'll be a little bit more sturdy as you manipulate them. As I wrap up, I want to say thanks to iPon70. Oh my gosh, when you guys give me these questions, it gets my mind thinking and we start coming up with really cool skills. I am finding the new settings on this SVG tool so handy and anytime I get to share them with you, makes my day. Friends, of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, make sure you add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great